is a DUI Choose Your Own Adventure, part 17. Now, I've had a couple drinks tonight, so when the officer asked me, How much have you had to drink tonight? I told him, I had a couple drinks a few hours ago, but totally good to drive. Which is the truth, but that is an absolute signal to an officer. He does not believe you. Everybody said they had a couple of drinks a couple hours ago. So boom, he's on you saying, Just so I know that you're good to drive, would you mind stepping out for a field sobriety test? And I agreed, because I figured I'd be able to pass this. Field sobriety test? Sure, I'll give it a shot, why not? So now here I am on the roadside performing all those gymnastic routines. I've got my arms at my side, show them the foot's above there six inches. I got heel to toe, heel to toe. Anything you do, doesn't matter. These are not tests, these are evidence gathering exercises. The cop is only looking for signs of intoxication. There is no signs of sobriety on this test. So while you think you're doing okay, you're really not. You're giving him more evidence and the showing the signs of your intoxication. So inevitably, he's gonna ask, Would you mind performing a portable breath test? So, now you gotta choose. Do you say, Sure, I'll do the breath test. You're pretty sure you're gonna blow below the legal limit, go to part 27. Or do you say, uh, No thanks officer, I'm gonna decline the portable breath test. You know the breath test is optional. You don't wanna keep cooperating. Go to part 28. Okay guys, just a point of reference. This is not legal advice and you should check your local state laws because there are a couple of states that have some interesting rules around refusing the portable breath test. Not many, but you wanna check that out before you go through and do this for real. Fun to play along in the game.